Hi guys, welcome back. This is FSX404. I've decided to uh, add another VOR lesson. Uh, this is a practicality lesson. How you would actually use a VOR in a Microsoft Flight Simulator flight planner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a basic flight in a Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Microsoft Flight Simulator planner from El Monte, K-E-M-T, to uh, Corona Airport, K-A-J-O, using the Pomona VOR in between them. The first thing I'm going to do is pick my plane, the Cessna 182. And then from there, I'm going to go into the flight planner. From the flight planner, I'm going to select the airport KEMT, El Monte, uh, and I'm going to use uh, parking ramp 9, uh, just so I'm not on the runway. And for the destination, I will use the KAJO, Corona Airport. Now the flight plan type will be a VFR flight visual flight rules and I'm gonna choose VOR to VOR and once I go to find route the flight planner will automatically use the Pomona VOR as a midpoint in between the two airports as you can see my cruising altitude today is gonna to be 2500 feet from this point I'm gonna go into the nav log nav log is gonna give me my directions that I need to fly so from KEMT to the Pomona VOR I will have to fly a heading of 077 so that is going to be my heading to the VOR of 077 from the Pomona VOR to the Corona Airport KAJO I will have to fly a heading of 124 from the Pomona VOR to Corona Airport KAJO let me just go back into the flight planner picture again and show you what this is going to look like so I'm going to take off from El Monte I'm going to fly to the VOR at a heading of 077. Once I reach the Pomona VOR, I will fly a radial from Pomona VOR to Corona Airport at a heading of 124. So I'm flying a heading of 077 to Pomona VOR and I'm flying a radial of 124 from Pomona VOR to the Corona Airport. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the NAVs. It's going to be 110.4 for the Pomona VOR, uh, heading of 077 to it. That's uh, from our nav log. Okay, so we got 077 on the VOR1 gauge. And now we're ready for taxi. Let's lean the mixture for taxi and let's get ourselves to the runway. As I'm holding short of a runway 19, I'm going to call up the tower and ask for takeoff. As the tower is clearing me, I'm going to mixture full, flaps 10 degrees for takeoff, transponders on alt, landing light on, taxi light off, strobe lights on, nav light on. So let's taxi onto the runway and uh, start our takeoff. It's going to be a normal takeoff. One thing I haven't talked much about is departure procedures. Just like you have approach procedures into airports, you actually have departure procedures. Now, I'm not going to get too much into it this time. I'll have a separate tutorial for that. Okay, the engine instruments in green. The airspeed is coming up, let's rotate, oh look at that, look at that wind, look at that windsock, wow, look at that crosswind, that's okay, uh, I'll put the airplane in a normal climb, okay, now as I've said, uh, we do have proper departure procedures, and they are same as approach procedures, you're pretty much going to use the traffic pattern to depart, in this case what we're going to do is that at uh, 400 feet AGL, which is 700 feet MSL, we're going to turn crosswind. We're going to turn to a heading of 100. Okay, at uh, 500 feet above the ground, we're going to bring our flaps up and we're going to identify the VOR, the 110.4 Pomona VOR. Okay, Pomona VOR identified. Let's roll out on a heading of 100. 
roll right back into the downwind. So this is going to be a left downwind departure. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly the downwind, the heading 010. Okay, 1000 feet, manifold pressure down to 23, RPMs down to 2400. Okay, as we're turning to a heading of 010, we're actually right now on downwind. This should look very familiar for a traffic pattern. As we look off to our left, there's the runway. At this point, you can see the needle is coming in. The 077 heading to the Pomona VOR is coming in, so I'm going to start a nice easy turn to a heading of 077 to intercept the heading of 077 to the Pomona VOR. And at this time we're also going to take a look at the low triangle on the VOR and the triangle is pointing up, that means we are flying to the VOR. So the heading of 077 will take us to the VOR. It's heading of 077 coming in, let's roll out, heading of 080. Uh, I know I have a little bit of wind coming from the southwest, so I'll keep it at a heading of 080 and see what the needle on the VOR wants to do. Before we enter somebody's airspace, we're actually going to listen to their uh, ATIS. It's a common courtesy because the ATC is required to give you the weather. Uh, that's why every time you check in with a new ATC, even in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, the first thing they say is Cessna so-and-so, Roger, altimeter 299 or 2. So as a courtesy, I'm going to listen to the ATIS down at Bracket Field before I enter it. So as soon as I get the ATIS, I'm going to contact the tower and ask permission to uh, transition through the airspace. Okay, I'll set up the airplane at 2,500 feet. That means we're in cruise. The cow flaps are closed for cruise. The manifold pressure is down to 21 for cruise. And I'm just maintaining a heading of 080, and that seems to be working out pretty good. The, the, the VOR seems to be very centered. So I'm going to keep this heading as long as I can. Okay, so now that I got the ATIS, I'm going to call up the bracket tower and uh, ask for permission to transition through the airspace. Bracket tower, Cessna, November 8, Charlie, this type, Cessna, Skyline, 6 miles east of El Monte, requesting transition. Cessna, November 8, Charlie, transition approved, report clear of bracket tower airspace. We'll report clear, Cessna, November 8, Charlie. One of the reasons I chose 2,500 feet MSL for this flight is because uh, the way we're going at 2,700 feet MSL, you would actually run into Ontario class Charlie airspace, and we want to stay away from it. So we'll stay at 2,500, we'll transition through the bracket airspace, and then once we're out of their airspace, we'll actually get the Chino ATIS and ask Chino Airport to transition through their airspace. So we're actually going to transition to two airspaces. Okay, as you can see, uh, 078080 seems to be holding the needle centered, and I'm just flying straight to the VOR. And at this point, you can actually see the light. That's the Bracket Airport um, uh, Vassy Pappy light, whatever they have. <laughs> I don't know right now. Uh, but I also know that the VOR is a little bit south of the airport. So you're going to see off to our left is Bracket Airport and as we're coming we're flying straight to the VOR. Uh, as you can see the needle has moved a little so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my heading just a little bit to about 085 to get back on course. Like I said do not chase the needle pick a heading and fly it with the, with the VORs.